Hi everybody, it's Jennifer with Creative Cricut Designs.blogspot.com and today I'm going to be doing a scrapbook layout of my son when he was two months old. But I wanted to show you this paper pack that I got. It's Kane Company and it's an embossed specialty paper. So all the paper that's in here is 12 by 12 and it's all embossed. I wish they would come out with a 12 by 12 embosser. I would love it. Because then if you have anything over, you know, a card size layer, you'd be able to emboss it. So I chose one of the pages out of this stack for my layout today. And it's this piece, which is like a striped. And I'm going to have it go this way. And then what I have is just a piece of 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock, which is just white. Um, nothing special, just plain white. And I'm going to go ahead and attach that. So I'm going to put some adhesive on it. And I'm just using my pink ATG gun to get this um, adhered down. And I'm going to have it towards the top of my page, just kind of centering it the best that I can on both sides. Move it up a little bit. About there. And I'm just kind of going around the edges to push down the ATG because it's embossed paper. And then, oh, I messed up. I wanted to put this ribbon on the... I don't know if I'll be able to get it on there. Okay, so then I have a 5x7 picture of him that I'm going to go ahead and put on here. And it's going to go on the upper left corner. I always lay out everything on my scrapbook pages before I go and adhere them down. They always seem to look better when I do that versus when they're done. It upsets me because they look really good and then when I go to adhere everything, if I forget something, then it looks kind of wacky, but what are you going to do, right? Trying to get this corner down. And the only cartridge that I use for this layout is the all mixed up font cartridge. And I just cut out the font that says Sweet Baby Boy, which I'll be putting that on here shortly, hopefully. Let's get this to stay down. And that piece is going to be on here which this is just a 2 inch by 12 inch piece of yellow um, cardstock which I'm going to go ahead and adhere now and I didn't do any edging with any punches or anything I'm just using a regular strip of um, paper and I think that it will look just fine like that Just lining it up with the embossed edge, like so. And then I have, let's see, a picture that's going to go here and a picture that's going to go up here. So I'm going to put the pictures on here. And these, um, the smaller pictures were two three by five inch pictures but I just kind of cut them down a little bit this one I cut down more but I just kind of cut out cut um, the white borders you know when you get your pictures developed it when you go and have your kids pictures taken I just cut the white part off because I didn't want that on my end here 
And then for the sweet baby boy, I'm going to get some scratch paper. And I'm going to go ahead and um, adhere this on. And it was cut at one and a half inches. And it's already welded. Everything's already welded together. And then I have two buttons that I tied some hemp on and I'm going to place them in the center. And I just chose some white looking buttons. So there's that part. And then what I did is I grabbed a couple um, some string or some ribbon, sorry, and I cut a bow, or I made a bow, because my bow on my last card just did not work, and I don't know what I did differently than what I usually do, but, so this time what I did is I made the bow when it wasn't attached to my ribbon or my card or my scrapbook page or anything, that way I got it and I don't have to worry about messing around to try to get it to look right. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this with a um, glue dot, two glue dots, onto my scrapbook page. like so, and then I'm going to cut the ends. Like so. So they're not um, hanging over my font or anything. And then what I have is some buttons, some yellow and bluish turquoise buttons that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just randomly put them on my scrapbook page in yellow ones here and these blue turquoise ones over here if I can get them all come here little guy okay got it okay so push him back down and then I'm just going to use um, the glue dots, the Zats glue dots, to adhere them to my scrapbook page. I'm going to start with the bigger one. I'm just going to place it on here. And I'm just going to keep going. They're in no particular order. Kind of going wherever. And I did pick out um, a couple different sizes of buttons, some big and some small. I just worked them in there wherever I wanted them to go. You know, like I said, they're not in any certain order or anything. Just kind of on the side. And the bigger ones, I usually use two. Just because sometimes they're thicker than the other ones. I want to make sure that they're going to stick on my page. One more button and then we're done.
just kind of trying to see where I want it. This one over. And I think right about there will be good. Move them over a little bit. So that's my finished scrapbook layout of my son when he got his two-month-old pictures taken. So I thank you very much for watching and have a great day!